Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Construct this one. So this is one meter, and approximately this is two meters. Okay, this is two meters. Okay. Okay. Fine. So we can write as the coordinates, time, and the position. At zero seconds, we are having one meter. At one seconds, it is two meter. And it is uh, two seconds. We are having one meter, and at three seconds, it is zero. This one, and at four seconds, it is two meter, and at five seconds, it is two meter. Okay. Firstly, I am finding the velocity in the interval zero to one second. Zero to one second. Okay, that is I'll call them V one. V one equal to dr by dt. That is position at one second minus position at zero second by t t two minus t one. Okay, na? Yes. So V one equal. Position at one second means that is two. Position at zero second means one by one minus t. That is one by one. That is one meter per second. Okay, na? Yes. Like that, I'll find from one to two. That is position at two seconds minus. Position at one second. Okay, this one completed. Draw the diagram and write down. No sir. Draw the diagram and write down. Okay. okay. Similarly, I'll find for one to two second, one second to two second. That is, V two is equal to position at two second. That is the final position minus position. In this interval, position at two second is final position. By two second minus one second. Position at two second means we know that it is one meter, and position at one second it is two meters. So one minus two by two minus one. That is nothing but 
minus 1. That's why here it is decreased. I can find for other intervals. Suppose if I want to find velocity from 0 to 4 seconds, velocity suppose V4 equal to position at 4 second minus position at 0 second by 4 minus 0. Okay now. Position at 4 seconds. That is 2 meters now. Okay. Fine. Position at 0 second means 1 meter. So, it is 1 by 4. Okay. Yes, sir. So, like this, in an interval, I can find velocity. Suppose 0 to 1, in this interval, velocity I got as 1 meter per second. 1 to 2, I got the velocity as minus 1. So, that means I want to find acceleration in these two intervals. Acceleration in 0 to 1 second, it is velocity at 1 second minus velocity at 0 second or else consider 2 seconds velocity at 2 second minus velocity at 0 by 2 minus 0 that is minus 1 minus 0 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 this we find the acceleration yes, okay. after this acceleration we, we are having the types of motion acceleration we are having the types of motion this types of motion here we are having the two types later we are having the different types okay and then in kinematics we will study about the uniform motion and non-uniform motion I think this also you might study it in your lower standard. Uniform motion and non-uniform motion. In your 8th class or in 9th class, okay, there is a chapter called motion. In that chapter, okay, you have studied the, this one. Write down the definition of uniform motion. Write down the definition. The particle travels. If the particle travels. Equal distances. Equal distances. In equal period of time. Equal intervals of time or equal period of time. Equal intervals of time. 
then the particle is said to be then the particle is said to be uniform motion equal distances in equal intervals of time r or equal distances in equal intervals of time okay or an equal distances in an equal intervals of time Yes, then the particle is said to be then the particle is said to be in non uniform motion non uniform motion okay yes okay now see in uniform motion is directly proportional to t small letter t in brackets you can write as s is equal to kt where k is a constant where k is a constant. 
constant. Constant. So velocity equal to ds by dt. Velocity is constant. Hence, particle travels in a straight line. Particle travels in a straight line. Okay. In uniform motion, point in uniform motion distance equal to displacement hence speed is equal to velocity Yes, sir. is equal to velocity in this one. Okay. Now find the average speed average speed that is average speed is defined as distance traveled total distance traveled to the total time taken total time taken okay. suppose let us consider this is my own here it is A. O it is my initial point and A it is the final point. If a particle moves from initial point to final point and returns to the initial point. Okay. Suppose T1 is the time taken to reach the final point and T2 is the time taken to reach the initial point. Initial point. Okay. Similarly, the distance traveled from initial position to final position it is S. So I can write as since speed is indicated with C, I'm writing as C average as S plus S by T1 plus T2. Can I say R? write it as distance travel means OA plus AO. Okay, that is nothing but 2S by T1 plus T2. Okay.
Finish it. Finish it. Since, see, here it is, particle is moving in straight line. So, distance equal to displacement now. Distance equal to displacement since particle moves in straight line. Moves in straight line. So, distance is equal to displacement. Hence, average speed is equal to average velocity. Average speed is equal to average velocity. So, in uniform motion, both average speed and average velocity it is same. By definition, we can say that average velocity it is v average equal to total displacement traveled by the particle to the total time taken. Total displacement by total time taken. Yes. Finished. Finished. Okay, fine. In the non uniform motion, tomorrow we will discuss. Okay. Up to here, remember, and uh, once go through the document, differentiation. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Thank you, sir.